Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Fat Mike and today I'm gonna be talking about this Bud Light deal, Anheuser-Busch. So, everybody keeps on talking about Bud Light and there's more to Anheuser-Busch than just Bud Light. We have 20 different beers, multiple different companies owned by Anheuser-Busch and the InBev company. So, we have 20 different beers by them. I'm going to go over this list first. Anheuser-Busch produces not only Bud Light, but Budweiser, Bud Light, Natural Light, Corona, Natural Ice Beer, Bud Light Platinum, Miller Light, Budweiser Select, Rolling Rock, Modelo, a special Keystone, Budweiser Select 55, Bud Light Next, Bud Light Lime Arita, Steel Reserve, Bud Light Lemonade, Lowenbra, Budweiser Freedom Reserve, something that's cut off, uh, Spot and Frekenzine Bra, uh, Budweiser Prohibition Brew, non something on all. Bud Light Beer Lager Orange, Bush Beer, Michelob Ultra Pure Gold, and Budweiser Black Crown. So, if you want to effectively boycott this company, we not only need to boycott Bud Light, but we must boycott every brand or product that is produced by Anheuser-Busch. It wasn't only Bud Light that lied to us, it was also Anheuser-Busch. But I found this article from AP News that states, Bud Light maker didn't fire marketing team over LGBTQ ads. They made statements that they had let them go and was in the process of firing them. We'll come to find out. It was all satire. So, from AP News, claim brewing company Anheuser-Busch fired its entire marketing department in response to its partnership with a transgender influencer and the rollout of LGBTQ pride-themed Bud Light cans that feature various pronouns. AP estimate false. The claim about the marketing department initially spread as satire, but some social media users shared it as real. Anheuser-Busch has not fired its marketing team. The company confirmed in a statement, further, the cans were put off a limited rollout marking Pride Month in 2022 in Canada and weren't aren't connected to the brand's partnership with social media star Dylan Mulvaney. The facts the popular beer brand partnership with the influencer in recent days sparked a wave of transphobic commentary among conservative social media personalities who attacked the company, supposedly turning to woke advertising. Which, I mean, yeah, it, it is pretty fucking woke advertising. And not to mention, <laughs> they want to try to make Bud Light seem like an all-American beer. Well, it's not even an all-American beer to begin with. Fucking, um, if you don't know anything about Anheuser-Busch and InBev, they're uh, located out of Leuven, Belgium. And on top of it, in 2012, they let Anheuser-Busch buy out Corona and Modelo for $20 billion. Now let me find this other article about that. Yeah, here's another thing on Forbes. Now this one here is from Forbes. Anheuser-Busch InBev buys Corona producer the last major family-owned brewery in Mexico. If they were such an American company and shit, 
they're surely getting let to be uh, monopolizing like a motherfucker. That's why they got Michelob and all these other motherfuckers. They're like buying up all the brands to just take it all into their one company, right? Thought there was laws regarding this shit to uh, to stop that type of shit, but no, you you go and let fucking Anheuser Busch buy out all of its competitors so they own the fucking market so really if you want to fucking hurt this company we must boycott every fucking product it makes every last one i i was a corona drinker i'm done with corona and until i find another one I, i've been dealing with smirnoff ice at least it's not fucking owned by Anheuser-Busch. But that's about what I got for you on this. So if you like the content, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe, help the channel grow. And think about what I said. And you can go and look up anything I stated and you can find it all on the interweb. So hope you all enjoyed this show. I'm your boy Fat Mike and I'm signing out. Deuces.